The Hall of Famer Jim Tomey loves to talk hitting, and he's in Studio 42 with our Eric Burns. Burnsy, I know you have a question for Tomey. Yeah, I have plenty of questions, but it's interesting because we talked about this off the air. Yeah. But I've delved into coaching for the first time and having an opportunity to be around a 10U team that basically consists of a lot of eight and nine-year-olds and a couple 10-year-olds, the one thing I've noticed is that they're late on everything. Now, they're playing against kids that are older, and it makes sense, but along the way, and I kind of thought about this because when I was coming up, no one ever really taught me how to pull the ball. Was there something that you did along the course of your career where you ever worked on pulling the ball? Absolutely. Yeah, I think the first thing was when Charlie Manuel put me on the plate and opened me up. And we talked a little bit about it last night on the Ted Williams segment where we talked about hips and hands. And when I came to the big leagues, I was kind of closed off, okay? I was closed off, kind of dove into the plate, had no hips, never pulled the ball. So Charlie Manuel put me, put my back foot on the white line, Opened me up, so my direction, Bernsey, was not to the pitcher's mound. It was to the right of the pitcher's mound was my sense of direction. Now, because he put me on the white line, if I hold the bat out, if I hold the bat out and drop the bat, now, if I drop the bat, my barrel is hanging out over the outer half. So, so virtually, I went from the minor leagues being a guy that hit the ball through the middle the other way, to now, as I got the triple A, he turned my whole field around, opened my hips, and once he opened my hips, it felt like I became free. It, it felt like, like one day I was taking BP and I went, oh my goodness, like I'm pulling the ball and not even really trying, and a ball that would beat me, I don't want to take away. I did hit the ball the other way, but that's the occasional ball that beat me mm -hmm. because I had the plate coverage. That ball got deep, and I would hit the ball through the middle the other way. When you say open your hips, what do you mean? So I'm on the, I'm on the white line. So you were closed off, say this way. So I was more stance. closed off here, had my hands kind of lower, and I would stride kind of this way into the, into the plate. Well, I was a little bit off the plate, mm -hmm. and and now that ball that was middle in to try to pull that ball, you up. I couldn't I couldn't free up. Then all of a sudden, we come out. Charlie Manuel puts me my back foot on the plate on the white line. On the white line, and then now open here. and he the thing he said was, S "Don't step to the mound. Step a little bit to the right of the mound." Was my sense of direction. Now now my hips just naturally cleared. Okay, Hold, real quick, because I learned this from Sean Green. And so Sean would do the same sort of thing, right? So take the step like you're going. And this is what, Chris Davis does this, I think he's one of the best examples of how he generates his power. Yes. But he basically lands open. And then this turns into a rubber band effect, Yes. right? And, it, and it's almost like you're here, here, and then it's just Yes. And it goes. So, interesting. So, the one thing that I did, because I noticed this, right? So, my kids were getting beat. And it makes a lot of sense because they hadn't seen that velocity before. So, I went out there one day, and normally... Right so, before you begin... So, I coach my son. Yes. Coach third base. And, and it's ironic. I see the same thing. I'm coaching down here, and I'm watching all of our left-handed hitters. And kids are never getting... Mm -mm. And I, so at third base, my son and I, we have this thing where if I go like this, if I go like this to him, yeah. it means hit the ball in the circle. The circle is out in front of the plate on contact. And we'll get into that because would you, would you give him this and would you pick the count to give it to him? No, no, because, because Burns, you, you hit it right on the button. Most kids don't know how to get ready to be able to hit. They let everything get deep because naturally they're so young 
They're, I just don't think they know. Now, they're this la- I think they're just late. Now, this drill. And we, all, we also, let's, let's not forget this. I was taught my whole life, like, hit the ball up the middle, hit the yes. ball the other way. No one taught yeah, me how to no, pull no, the no, ball. No. Yeah, we never, like, never was I ever, like, because most kids, if you say, stay through the middle the other yeah. way, you know what they're going to do? They're going to chicken wing, they're going to get up under the ball, yeah. and they're going to hit balls the other way that have this on the baseball. Okay, so check this out. So this is what I do with the boys. So a normal, and we'll just do like two or three right now. This would be normal soft toss. I basically would almost get okay. in this sort of position right here, and I'd throw it right in the midsection. And this is what we do as far as working the ball up the middle the so, other way. So that ball's getting deep on me. Exactly, but that's how you normally right. would take soft toss. So instead, I'm like, boys, let's elevate and celebrate and get the head out. So I move it over here. Boom. Ah, a little slippage. And as far as Nice swing. I mean, just look at this. The, like, is, this is just like anything else, where it's like, sure, you want to try to say, stay inside the baseball and everything, but the only way you're ever going to learn how to pull a baseball is by doing drills, just the same way you do up the middle and the other way. It's just a matter of figuring out. I mean, we're done. That's just impressive. It's just a matter of figuring out how to feel that barrel through yes. the zone and getting the head out. And what's crazy is that we had two, three kids, like young kids, all of a sudden going bridge once they figured out how to get that barrel out yeah. there. But it's repetition and obviously a lot of practice. Well, and the angle, too, when you started out, the angle was right on, was head on. Yeah. So the ball was like at me. Now that angle created the art of now get the bad head out there. Sure. And the bad head got out there, and that's, that's what happened.